BBC Radio Sheffield. Hello, good evening. It's six minutes past five. Now, for the second time in a month, a controversial preacher who was due to speak in Sheffield tonight has been told that he can't address Sheffield Hallam University as planned. The Uni's Islamic Society has been told that Martaza Khan can't speak at the campus for an event called Pursuit of Paradise after the original speaker pulled out. A month ago, Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim was due to deliver a lecture at the Sheffield Hallam University but was prevented from doing so. An organisation called Student Rights is campaigning against what they call extreme preachers from giving their views to students. Rupert Sutton is from Student Rights and he's on the line now. Rupert, what is the problem with these speakers then? Good afternoon, Dean. Um, So the problem with these speakers is that um, even if they haven't broken the law, um, individuals like Khan and Al-Haki make LGBT and Jewish students feel unwelcome and unsafe on their campuses. I mean, they create an atmosphere which is, you know, it's they're where it's acceptable to be homophobic or anti-Semitic, and because they're presented as religious authorities, this often gives them a great deal of legitimacy with students. Surely, if they're talking to a group of educated students, and we're talking about the educated group of society here who have been exposed to all kinds of opinions and ideas during their lives, they surely should be allowed to form their own judgments when listening to someone like this. No, of course. I mean, uh, at student rights, we're, we're very keen that um, freedom of expression on campuses does, does remain sacrosanct, but the issue that is that students are vulnerable to this material. Um, uh, a student at King's College London, Roshanara Chowdhury, who attempted to assassinate the MP Stephen Timms, admitted in her police interviews that she'd actually become radicalised by watching videos of, of preachers on the internet. Uh, and she was a top student who was near graduation when she carried out her attack. So educated young people do sometimes fall victim to these ideas. Stopping them from appearing at Sheffield Hallam University will not stop them from holding an event elsewhere, will it? It won't. Uh, in this case, the, the society have moved the event off campus. And, I mean, we're very keen that if students want to invite speakers who have a history of intolerance and extremism, they, they should be doing it openly, and, and they should be making a debate of the issue rather than doing it behind, you know, behind closed doors, allowing these people to preach. You know, this should be a debate where... Uh, people should be challenged. Uh, you know, radical ideas should be debated on campuses. But um, in the case of someone like Khan, who says that homosexuality is a, an abominable action, th- those aren't ideas that we should be we should be tolerating on on campus. I don't think. Yeah, well, I think Pete, a lot of people do criticise uh, people uh, from various organisations. Homosexuals have been criticised by Christians and people of other faiths. Is is it as simple as a criticism, or is it more extreme? What's being said? So, I mean, in, in the case of Khan, he said that, uh, as I said, hom- homosexuality is a, an abominable action, which the correct punishment for, for that is death. Uh, and, I mean, in, in the case of Hakim, he was saying that homosexuality is an illness and something that Allah despises, um, and that people should stay away from it because it's filth uh, and an abnormality which should be treated. I mean, these are the kind of views that make students feel very, very uncomfortable and, and actually make them feel quite frightened sometimes. I mean, um, Are you worried, then, that there are students who want to listen to these views? They know the views in advance and they want to go and have another listen face to face so to speak of course i mean uh, at other universities we, i mean we look at universities across the country and um at westminster university we found uh, students there saying you know that homosexuals were filthy and and you know that this was a you know they said that it was an accepted view and that muslims didn't uh, you know all muslims would, would view homosexuals in this way and of course that's not true this is a, a an extreme fringe of people saying this but there are definitely students who are willing to go along and listen to that kind of thing and, and to have their opinions uh, bolstered by it, I think. Who are Student Rights? Which, well, tell us about your organisation. So we're an organisation that are dedicated to, to challenging extremism on, on university campuses in all forms. Uh, you know, it's not just, not just Muslim extremists. Um, uh, we, you know, we work, to work with students to make sure that if speakers are being invited who, who they are uncomfortable with, we can uh, help them go to their university and speak to their university about it. Uh, you know, we can give them advice on particular speakers, on how to respond to societies which are inviting particular speakers. Uh, and essentially, we just exist to try and make the, you know, the campus experience of, of the UK students as, as pleasant as possible and to make sure that these extremists aren't able to influence that. Rupert, thank you very much indeed. Rupert Sutton there from Student Rights. He explained who the organisation is and what its purpose is.